In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel. According to St. Luke chapter 10, verses 1 through to 15, after these things, the Lord appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Carry neither money bag, knapsack, nor sandals, and greet no one along the road. But whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if the Son of Peace is there, your peace will rest upon it. If not, it will return to you. And remain in this same house, eating and drinking such things as they give you. For the labourer is worthy of his wages. And do not go from house to house, whatever city you enter, and they receive you. Eat such things as are set before you, and heal the sick there, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whatever city you enter, and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The very dust of your city, which clings to us, we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near you. But I say to you, it'll be more tolerable in the day of so in that day for Sodom than for that city. Woe to you, Chorosi. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. And it would be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, who, exalted, who are exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Open our eyes and our ears to your words. In this scripture reading today, we read about how Jesus sent out before him 70 people, 70 disciples, two by two. He gave them instructions of what to do, what to take with them. How they were to behave when they came into a city or even into a house. And he instructed them, whatever they place in front of you, to eat, eat. In other words, he wasn't telling them to worry about this rules that have taken over so much in the Jewish nation. But whatever food you eat, they eat, give you eat. And as he said in another section of this reading, that the labourer is worthy of his reward. And to preach that the kingdom of God has come near to you. This is so very true. Even now, it has come. 
But so many people don't see it, don't hear it. As Jesus said, the labourers are few. So many people, they put their hand to the plough, they turn away. Too much for them, too, too difficult. There are so many needy people out there who even yet have not heard the word of God, who have not yet known about the kingdom of heaven. The world is dark. The world needs the light of Christ shown to it. Pray to the Lord of the hardest to send more laborers into the field. Yes. Listen to the word of God. He calls so many, but not many are prepared to take on that difficult role. It is a difficult role, yes, because of the persecution that happened. Jesus never promised these people, these 70 that he originally sent, an easy journey. Many were insulted, persecuted, whipped, flogged, thrown into jail. And this went on even after Christ returned to the Father. Think about all those early martyrs, yes, starting with Stephen, who were not prepared to hear him preach the word of God. And so on. All those apostles that were killed, martyred, all except one, John, the beloved. But he was still persecuted, but he did die of old age. So the harvest is ready. Who is prepared to go out? into the fields and gather up all those lost sheep out there and bring them into the barn to protect and to serve. Yes. So I urge you all to think about it. Read the scriptures. Understand the teachings of Jesus Christ. Understand also what is going to be required. Every Christian has been given that responsibility to live a life worthy of a disciple, a true follower of Jesus Christ. And this is the way we preach. The way we live is the way we preach. So I urge you all to pray. Read the scriptures. And every day, give God the glory for the opportunities he will give you to preach. To draw all men to Jesus Christ, to the kingdom of God. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.
most holy Theotopus, save us.